In this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing how to use layout managers in Java. In order to do this, we're going to be creating our own custom interface using some of the layout managers uh, we saw in the previous couple of videos. We're not going to be using all of them because as I'm pretty sure you figured out by yourselves, um, let's say for example, for one specific interface, you can uh, create that interface with um, in different ways. So either by using one layout, either by using one layout manager or by using several layout managers uh, combined together. So uh, there are several ways of getting the same result. And in this specific example, we're going to be um, using the border layout manager and the uh, flow layout manager, because that's, that's what works best uh, in our example. So <clears throat> let's go through the code uh, of our interface. So I'm going to go briefly through uh, all of this code because you already know what most of it does. So in our main uh, method, our main program here, we're instantiating our JFrame, which is created in the window class. So in the window class, we'll find all the parameters for our JFrame, <coughs> its title, its size. Uh, don't forget that set visible has to be set to true, otherwise your frame won't be displayed. And we've set the content pane to login panel. In our login panel, so we have our panel here, it goes without saying we're going to be uh, importing all of these classes uh, because we're going to be using all of them. You know what all of them do by now, so I'm not going to explain them in detail. <coughs> We've declared here um, all of our components, so in f using fields, class fields, um, basically so, uh, so that we can in the future uh, use them in, for example, if we want to use them possibly in different classes or in different methods, uh, we can call on them directly here. So <clears throat> in our constructor here of our class login panel, as you can see, we're directly setting the layout to a new border layout. So in other words, our interface or our panel inside our frame is going to have three sections. The north section, uh, which will be linked to the get header method, which we'll be using just underneath. The center section, which will be linked to the get text area method, and the south section that will be uh, linked to the get button panel um, method. So you can think of our interface. Our interface is going to have three parts the north part, so the header, if you will, the center, <coughs> so the middle, and the bottom of the uh, interface will be the south section. So in our get header method, which is linked to the north section, um, we are inserting a, another J panel inside that, that's going to take the entirety of that section up. And inside that panel, inside that J panel, we're going to be uh, adding a, um, a label, a J label, which we've named logo label in this case. Now, the difference with this, this J label is, as you can see, it doesn't have any text in it. And it's also centered. Uh, it's also centered in the middle of the of the panel. Uh, the reason it doesn't have any text in it is because we're going to be using it um, to insert an image icon, which we're doing here. <coughs> and we're basically inserting this file, this image, which is at the uh, base of our project folder. <coughs> and then uh, we're setting uh, the uh, J label to that icon. <coughs> so basically in this get header section in the north section we're displaying uh, an image a logo so in the get text area method i.e in the um, center of our interface we're going to be uh, also adding a another panel to take up the entirety of that section we've named it center panel here uh, inside that panel we're going to be using the flow layout um, manager and we're going to be displaying an email label, an email field, a password label, and a password field uh, that we parameterized here, as you can see. Uh, and then, as you can see, we're adding them to the center panel. And finally, in the get button panel method, which is the uh, south section of our border layout, we're again, same principle, also going to be adding a panel to take up the entirety of that section. We've named it buttons panel in this case. Uh, and then we're again, we're setting a buttons panel to a, a flow layout. 
and then we're just going to be displaying one button which is going to be called login and uh, again we're going to be adding that button to the panel so it's displayed so <clears throat> if we run the program now as you can see we have our north section here with our logo we have the center or the middle section of our interface here with the email label its uh, field the password uh, label and also the password field here and then in the south um, section of our border layout we have our button uh, login and so yeah that's how you use layout managers in Java in the next chapter we're going to be seeing how to um, program our interface so in other words we want to be able to for example enter an email and a password and then when we click on login we want um, to program an action for that button login so we'll be seeing how to do that in the next chapter